vague, barely audible voices was all Cypher could make out, but he couldn't see or do anything else. Something was placed over his head, and he felt woozy, almost sick. But why? Why is he here? What's happening? We're here. Get him up. Welcome to your new home, Demon Lord. They pulled the bag off his head, revealing a gigantic metal fortress, what looked like an ICBM launch facility. It was dark and cloudy, and he wasn't sure the time or date. All around he saw men everywhere loading supplies, and he wasn't what sure any of it was, beyond basic weapons and the likes. He walked into the facility, nothing but footsteps for sounds. He was being carried, and managed to get a glimpse of the men holding him. They were Ocean and Yuzian, one of which was an older man. But then right as he started to get his bearings, he was tossed into a room, before the door slammed behind him. Cypher struggled to stand up, before coughing repeatedly. To think that you've been gone for so long, and we finally meet over two decades later. Cypher was in shock. He instantly recognized the voice, though it was deeper than the last time he heard it. So, did they break you out? Cypher stood up and came face to face with Joshua Bristow, also known as Wizard One. This man was one of the sole leaders of not one, but two terrorist groups after the first dissolved. He was a man with a plan at any corner, only stopped by circumstance from destroying the world. So how's the Sheik's soul life treating you? What the hell do you want? Straight to the point. Well, Cypher, before we begin, let me thank you. Puzzled, Cypher was wondering what this madman was talking about. After V2 was destroyed, and my group afterwards nearly fell apart, and I was imprisoned, you made me understand how I failed. It wasn't just you that stopped the world from changing. It was the lack of those that desired change. That is all that is required to change the world, no matter how flawed the belief. And what the hell do you want from me? Well, first, let me show you this. He took out a picture from his pants and unfolded it, with Cypher immediately taking the photo knowing who it was. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume the people in the IUN haven't told you the full truth. This photo was taken a few days ago by an informant. When you have so many years to waste, getting at least one person to the heart of the IUN is quite an easy task, especially without a known background. My men got busy while I was on vacation, but now they pass the baton. Wizard smiled, happy at how well his comrades performed. Cypher tried to make a connection with Hector, trying to talk about Larry before the base was attacked. This picture had to be genuine. We are currently working to find him and get him to work for us. In due time, he will work for us whether he likes it or not. If you do any of that, allow me to speak to him. How far are you willing to go, Demon Lord? to talk to him. Just give me this damn plan of yours. Hector woke up from a medically induced coma in the middle of the night. In the bed next to him was Nagase, but the rest of Sheik's all there. What happened? Muttering about Hector being awake occurred between them, before Mobius spoke. The IUN base got attacked. I meant after I went under. It was a setup. They wanted us to chase the bombers away to the city and leave the airbase open to a short ground attack from fast infantry. Minimum damage was done to the base, but they destroyed the hangar Cypher plane was in and captured him. Lord knows what they will do. Blaze took charge immediately. We need a plan. This can't be the end if they captured one of us. How do you think they knew where he was? You think they have been observing us since we went back to the Hierarch? It was unlikely, but not impossible. There had to be a way. I'll contact the higher-ups on the situation after my recovery. A pilot like Cypher in the wrong hands could spell disaster for everyone. We may not even be enough ourselves. Behind the curtain, a new war was soon to begin. After many months, Hector was finally able to make a recovery and was back to being a part of the IUN. After the terrorist attack on the base, constant vigilance within the higher-ups in the IUN prompted them to contact all the help they can from any pilots worth contacting. Luckily, there was one more man they could get to join. Hector's recovery wasn't perfect. 
He was currently forced to walk using a cane due to his injuries from the shootout. But luckily, the two bullets hit no vital organs. His plane finally landed in Aurelia, in the southern hemisphere, but it was nothing he couldn't bear. When he landed, he stepped out of his plane. There were two men, one an older male who looked like the commander of the base. The other looked nervous, and wasn't sure why he was here. Crux! In a while! You rose to the ranks fast! Hector spoke with admiration and a salute. Crux did the same. The young man next to him lit up realizing he forgot to salute himself. Hey, don't be so nervous now, Griffiths. Hector spoke with light-hearted humor. <coughs> Sorry, sir. What do you need? Didn't I tell you what it was? I even gave you a brief explanation. Crux spoke surprised. Sorry, I was a bit confused on it. Before the two could go any further, Hector spoke up. <laughs> well, no matter, Griffiths. I'm putting together a squad. Wait. Sorry, I'm pretty used to saying that. Anyway, uh, rather, I want you to join our squadron. Simply put, we will have you join Sheik's All Squadron, and you'll be tasked with any operation guarding Uzia and Osia. Griffiths didn't want to make himself look like a fool, and he knew he had to say yes to avoid. What's the worst that could happen? I'm in. Griffiths tried to speak confidently, with Hector rolling his eyes at how cheesy it was. Very well, we will see you at Axel Air Blaze and Uzia. Wait, where's that? Hector boarded his plane as the engine started up, with the door closing behind him. He'll figure it out. Talks between OC and Belka were finally wrapping up, and soon the annexation of Belka would finally come to an end. Nobody felt proud, however, due to its cost, and what little was gained. OC had acquired very little land but lost so many lives, and stained their relations with other countries through their actions. Aurelia was willing to send Griffiths one to assist in protecting civilians in future operations, but that was the only help they would receive. Griffiths arrived at Axel Air Base, having just enough fuel to do so. As he landed, he took a sight in. There were bomb craters everywhere, yet only one building was destroyed. Griffiths guides his raptor into a hangar before stepping out. As he did so, he was greeted by Hector in the hangar. I hope the trip wasn't so bad. Sorry about ditching you, I was in a rush. That was a bit of a lie. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, what now, sir? Glad you asked. Head to the briefing room. Others over there are waiting. Griffiths was nervous, but still hopeful. Maybe he'll work well alongside them, but not have much to fight. Once he had arrived, everyone turned to face him at the large round table they were seated at. Not exactly a confidence booster. He nodded and took a seat between Talisman and Mobius the latter pulling out his chair and giving a comforting smile. Right. Let me begin with the situation. So to catch everyone up, the annexation is nearly over, but two huge issues keep us from leaving. After the battle at Nordpunkt Beach, you likely will remember me talking about a man named Joshua Bristow. In case none of you know, a quick history lesson. Hector turned on the screen monitor with Joshua's mugshot when he was arrested. Joshua was an Ocean Ace pilot and squadron leader during the Belkin War in 1995. He went missing after the war, but he was speculated to be the leader of two separate terrorist organizations, one of which was confirmed and he was thrown in jail for it. The other, you probably know as a world with no boundaries. He was broken out immediately after he captured Cypher, one of our best pilots who we flew with in the Belkin War alive. Coincidence? Well, it shouldn't be, and words of a rebellion group are rising at a Belka. So what's the issue? There's no way they can supply themselves in such a short time, right? Remember when Osea laid a raid on Grunder Industries in Northern Osea, before shutting them down? Many of Grunder's higher staff and technology retreated to South Belka. What they took with them, we aren't sure. How if they have another project? Most importantly, they, alongside some Belkan military officials, still carry with them a decent supply of weapons. Plus, if they have Cypher, will they really need much? As much as I don't like him, he, just like all of us, can overcome any obstacle, punch through any defense, and stop any offense as long as he is around. Get him a working plane, and we all know what destruction he can cause. That's right, we must remain vigilant. They can still cause serious damage with him on their side. In the meantime, allow me to introduce you to the new guy, Griffiths, if you may. <clears throat> I, I hope I can be of service to you all. I, I won't let you down. Nervous, huh? Don't be. We're all here for you if you're there for us. 
Oh, uh, name's John Smith, but you can call me Mobius. Each one of them introduced themselves. One more member is a part of us, but she's currently not here. Hector says one last thing. Griffiths, nice to have you with us. Hector Loom is the name, but call it however you wish. Shine together and be ready to get into action at any moment. Dismissed. Preparations were being set everywhere. Soon, the former Princess of Arugia will be visiting the ISEV to celebrate the end of the Lighthouse War. It was nighttime, and one man stood on a balcony with a view of the space elevator and the ocean surrounding it. Hey, dumbass! When will you give me a flyover? I'll give you one on the day the princess visits. And will you stop calling me that? Alright? Good lord. The man relaxed in his apartment building in a casual outfit. Shorts, shirt, but no shoes. All white. Will you still have the three strikes on your plane? No, it's behind me. The war's over and so is my time. Soon, I'll leave, and you and I can have a vacation. No, oh, that I can't wait for. Anyway, I have to get going. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Same to you, Scrap Queen. Oh, come on. He quickly hands up the phone. Time was short until his final mission. Ah, it's good to be back. Today's a big day. You've all been preparing for it. So, it's not like I have to remind you. But the briefing calls for it, so... Here's the deal. Our job is to patrol around Gunther Bay in case of any attack. The former Illusion Princess has a speech to make today, as it is the fifth anniversary of the end of the Lighthouse War. This doubles as an air show as well, as a show of force too. With this new organization starting up, we need to show we're capable, so you will be close to the space elevator. Pay attention to your radars. Alright, so who's sorting? Me, you, Hoosian, and of course, Trigger. So we need to be ready, I imagine. Yes, Cyclops Squadron will be on standby. Be ready for anything. The IUN has warned us that an attack is possible, but nothing has been confirmed. Things have been pretty blank for a while, so let's stay vigilant. Even if we were attacked, I'm sure it's nothing Trigger and Count can't handle. Not that we all are incapable ourselves. Anyway, the flyby begins at 0900 hours. There will be a lot of people there. The speech is a big deal. The princess intends to say a lot, so be in this for the long haul as well. Cyclops Squadron will switch with you at 0930 hours. The speech is scheduled to end at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Alright. So it's been a bit of time, but we're finally ready to do something. There is a speech being held by the former Princess of Arugia at the Space Elevator. What a better wake-up call than attacking here. We will attack the ISEV to show Osea and the entire world what it's in for. We have an ADA-01A Adler, just ready for use. Slightly modified for our use. This aircraft carries the same type of missile that the Synfaxi-class submarines carry, and causes heavy damage. It can bring down an entire fleet on its own. Your goal is to escort the Adler to the space elevator, and it will shoot a burst missile at the base and cause it to collapse. I will pilot this aircraft remotely. We will launch an initial attack against the space elevator with a fighter squadron, mostly to tie up any enemy fighters in the area. Then, we will descend in at a low altitude. If we're caught, you must protect the Adler until the mission is completed. The pilots there will be skilled, but I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Now, I know some of you may have some bad blood. Seal Squadron, you will be in Cypher's formation. That's just the way it has to be done. Your goal is to assist the Demon Lord and the fighters he needs help with, and protect the Adler. We launch at 8.50 hours. That'll give us plenty of time since the speech ends at 10 o'clock. Let's change the world. This is Longcaster. The speech is just about to begin. Hey, go fetch some popcorn for me, will ya? 
Okay, so what's the deal? Ah, uh, thank you. Strider Squadron, I'm sending you your patrol routes now. Fly through these points. Uh, do we have to do any fancy maneuvers? Just follow Trigger. He's the flight lead. I don't feel like I have to say this, but keep your fingers off the trigger. How long have you been waiting to say that? You don't want to know. Look at all those people. Count them up. There, I said it for you. That's something. Citizens of Arusia, Osia, Yuzia, and wherever else, I wish you a good morning. Unless you're on any other continent, then you're probably sleeping or working. That being said, thank you for being here or for tuning in. Today, we celebrate the end of the Lighthouse War, back in 2019, a war that was quite an awakening for the world, and caused so much change for over the past five years. One of the things it caused was the invasion of Belka back in 2021, a country which is still in a great place of civil unrest. Please let us have a moment of silence for the casualties of the Lighthouse War and the annexation of Belka. Thank you. Now there are many things to address, but first, I would like to bring up the elephant in the room. I and many others have almost formed a new organization. Its official name will be the Universal Peace Enforcement Organization, UPO, and we hope for it to grow and protect the Yuzian continent and help the continent maintain a peaceful presence in the world. Okay, we've passed the last checkpoint, looping around. So, Trigger, what are you thinking of this speech? Me? Oh, I'm not brave enough for politics. Probably I'll tell my son about this, if he wants to hear it. Honestly, I wouldn't count on it. If he's not watching right now, anyway. Oh, how they grow up so fast. Pretty ballsy maneuver to essentially just form another IUN because the original one is pissed poor. But I guess that's just politics. Let's be honest, the IUN is just an extension of Osea. Cut the chatter. We've got unknowns coming in from the southwest. Unknowns? That can't be good. Get close to them and identify who they are. This is Wizard 1. It's time. All units, attack the enemy. There's a variety of aircraft, mostly Sukhois and MiGs. Could they be Erusion? Why would they... Enemy has a radar lock! Missile! Shit, all planes, engage the enemy. Somebody shoot the bridge. Don't let anyone escape. Damn, I didn't think we'd be doing this right now. Enemy is believed to have three strikes among them. You were seeing big shots, huh? Not necessarily Ocean anymore. Just do your jobs. We're here, guys. Currently getting ready to launch. Cyclops Squadron, scramble. Emergency takeoff. Breaking news. The space elevator seems to have a dogfight going on just southwest. A fighter just flew overhead. The bridge is down! Wait, hold on. Give me a sit rep. You're talking about that bridge? The enemy has destroyed the bridge leading to the space elevator. Strider, you need to split up and defend the space elevator. Oh, great. Just what I needed today. Keep yourself in the game, Trigger. Hey, I'm not the one who napped until takeoff. <laughs> what? What? That's crazy talk. More enemies inbound. They just don't quit. Broncaster, we need reinforcements now. Cyclops, how long until you're airborne? About three minutes. Hang tight. This is for all my men who fell before me. Wings damaged. Losing altitude. Splash one on enemy fighter. That's three now, buddy. Keep it up. Princess, let's get you out of here. No, I'm staying. You're free to leave if you wish. Ma'am, it's our job to protect you. These are my people. Whatever happens to them happens to me. I'm in takeoff position. I'm going. Roger, I'm almost there. I'm following Fencer. Launching. Look who's late to the party. Get over there and help. Come on, guys. We don't stand a chance against them. We're just decoys. Stop complaining. Cyclops Squadron, engage. Shredder, Cyclops, you handle this. I think we're good, but we still don't know what they're doing here. Stay on alert for more enemies. This is at least manageable. Pujan, cut the chatter. Sorry. We're surrounded by enemy aces. How long until reinforcements arrive? 
Not long, just a few minutes. Damn, buddy, ever since you flew that Raptor, you've gotten so much better. Why limit yourself with an Eagle? Why not? It's all about the pilot, not the aircraft. And I like this thing. Enemy squadron are down to a quarter of their strength. Just a little more, and that's a well done burger. Did you already get popcorn? Nothing wrong with having dessert. Uh. Okay then. Whoa, new enemy plane spotted. Low altitude. Almost got through. Strider, go give him a surprise. I'm waiting just outside. Make this workable for me. Copy that. Storm 1 engaging. Most of our guys are already down. SEAL Team, go ahead and engage the pushovers. Looks like we got a couple of hot shots heading over here. Enemy squadron inbound. Three MiG 29s, one F 15C. An equal strike. Yeager, Fusion, let's take him out. Sandbox, you got this? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do this. So this one survived a long time, huh? So I've heard. And this shouldn't be too hard. There he goes! Whoa! Damn! That was some maneuver! Alright, this guy's no joke. Time to get serious! Alright, Trigger, I'll help. Let's get him. Looks like these two want me. Seal, take care of the others. <sighs> Roger! Seal 2! Let's take care of him! I can see what you're doing. Not very clever. I can read you like a book. Whoa, okay. Maybe I underestimated this guy. Alright, think you got me all figured out. I'll learn this one from another race. Boss, watch out! Ow! Are you alright? You've been hit. Did he seriously just try that? What idiom taught him to do that? That's dance flying if I've ever seen it. I learned how to deal with that a long time ago. Lucky as hell, I took a missile for him. Shit, barely any controls. I, I gotta eject. Damn it. Try your squadron. I need some help. We, we're tied up with some mix. It's not a complete pushover, but it could use some work. It's a hit. Looks like I got him on the nose. Try to force hit. The front just fell off. I see no shoot deployed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Holy shit. He just pulled someone over in an F-15? You can do that? Really didn't expect that, huh? I guess the qualifications for being an ace just keep dropping as the years go by. How is this guy doing this? Psychops, I need immediate support. Please assist. We're a bit busy with some MiGs. But there's only two others. We know, damn it. Man, he's just stuck on the defensive. He's got no idea what to do. It's only a matter of time. Yes, I got one! My engine's been... Uh, hit. Landers in flames! Lancaster, we need backup! Call for reinforcements! Affirmative. The closest base is Axel Bay. It'll be a bit before they get here, if they haven't already scrambled. Seal Squadron is cleaning up. Cypher, finish up here. Just get in here, the enemy's tied up. Roger, beginning approach. A new aircraft has entered. It has no identification. Nothing we've ever seen before. I can't do anything about that! Cyclops, you need to handle him! We'll do our best! The enemy just broke off! Heading towards the Adler! Use our speed weapons to take him out! Shit! Missile! We can't get there! Evade! I've been hit! No response from anything! Electrical system's not functioning! Watch, I bet he's gonna fly into the sun! I got one last thing! There he goes! I'll get him on his way down. Launch him. Everyone else clear the north end of the space elevator. Whoa, what the hell? Ah! I've, I've been hit. What the hell? Look! The space elevator! I'm, I'm taking fire! Whoa, he's got some fire in that belly. Nice post-saw maneuver. Wow. There it goes. The elevator is going down. Shit. I've got to get out. Mission failed. Trigger. Fail out. Reinforcements are on the way. Ejecting. Box two. Ah! Damn, I'm hit. I'm hit. Skull, just get out of here. Escaping craft headed our way. Go get him. 
All right, let's get out of here. We're sending in some choppers and boats to see if we can find some of the pilots you shot down. Very good job. Hurry up, everyone. We need to get you up there fast. What's going on? That's what I'm about to tell you. Who else is watching the speech on TV? Okay, so the Raspberries already know what's going on. We've been called in as reinforcements to the space elevator. There is a terrorist attack currently going on. We need to assist the forces defending. The LRSSG is stationed in Gunther Bay, but I have a feeling they need help because of... Cypher, I'm guessing. Bingo. Looks like whatever group Cypher is in have put themselves on the radar. Alright, Griffiths, you're Sheik Sol 3 from now on. Talisman, you're Sheik Sol 2. You're both in Mobius' formation officially now. Alright, go! All combat units in the area, please respond. You guys are it. I'm sure there are other planes scrambling to get here, but all our fighters were shot down. You're kidding me? All of them were shot down? Affirmative. Now we need some help. What's the situation? No fighters in the area, but some helicopters and boats have showed up. I think they're looking for our bailed up pilots. Take them out for us. Roger, that shouldn't be too difficult. The space elevator collapsed. We've yet to confirm the amount of damage, but we imagine casualties are high in the area around the elevator. What a sight, man. Enemy planes spotted! Enemy planes? We're still in the middle of our mission! We collected one of the pilots leaving the area. We have multiple pilots in the water. Be careful where you aim. I'm sending you data for where their distress beacons are broadcasting from. I only have three beacons. We had four earlier, but one went dark. It was Shredder 2. So how many planes were up here? Eight in total. Sounds like his handiwork. Tailrunner lost! We're going down! How did this happen? There was an enemy ace in an F-15C. He took out Strider Squadron almost all on his own. I have almost no doubt who it was. Griffiths, go ahead and take the lead for now. Oh, uh, okay. Double disperse. Me and Edge will deal with the choppers. Swords and Archer, you destroy gunboats. Copy that. Archer, let's do this. Hey, is this thing working? I, I got a chopper coming near me. Someone get over here and help me. I'm sending a distress signal for Strider 1. Someone go help him. We can't shoot at enemies too close, otherwise we might hit friendlies. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Let me go help him out. Roger that. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. You're in gun range. Ah! Damn it, I'm hit! He's down. Woohoo! Thanks for the assist! Enemy gunboat coming right for me. Someone get rid of him! Sending a distress signal. We can't just keep engaging at random. Prioritizing targets close to pilots. I got that enemy. The enemy is down to about half strength. Man, I could seriously go for a pizza right now. Man, you weren't kidding. Look at that wreckage. How did they build something that huge? I don't know, but they were planning this for a long time. And now it's all gone to waste. What a sight to behold. Can't say it's nearly as impressive as the Gleipnir, though. That was some real technological pioneering. Huge birds like that are no joke. What about the Igion? Also the Arkbird. I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, the Gleipnir turned invisible. Could they do that? <laughs> no? I guess not. That's pretty cool, actually. Mobius, have you ever fought a bird like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, me? No. No, I haven't. But Cypher has. Okay, Mobius, I hear that tone. What's up? Nothing, really. I just heard a familiar voice is all. One I haven't heard since... Several unknowns spotted on radar. Bogies? Right now? Really? Hold on, I recognize these signatures. Unidentified aircraft. State your affiliation. This is Mage One. We received a request for support at the space elevator. 
We've already got this covered, but any help is appreciated. So the IUN couldn't tell us help was already here? We didn't get here too long ago. Besides, the signal was sent to everyone. You're lucky you didn't arrive sooner. This ain't even IUN territory. Anyway, I'm here at Halo Squadron. Mate Squadron, you're clear to engage the remaining choppers. Help out any way you can. Ooh, a familiar voice. How's life working for the Coalition? Cut the chatter, Mage One. Looks to me like whoever came here did a hell of a job. Elevator's collapsed. I wonder what this cretin is doing here. Huh? What did you say, Mobius? If you want to see the epitome of trash tier military, Mage One is your answer. Me and this guy had some run-ins back in the day. He's no one you'd want to work with. Rescue units are arriving in the area. Clean up the remaining forces. We should probably get out of here if we can, anyway. Enemy helicopters are retreating. Pursue the choppers. There they go, running away. What wonderful gentlemen they aren't. What are you on about? All enemy forces in the area are destroyed. Return to base. The IUN will handle the rest. Of course they will. What a shit show. We tried to warn them, not that they could have stopped Cypher, but there were only four planes with four more on standby. Casualty report? Oh, oh boy, where do I even start? Well, everyone at the space elevator was killed, including the Princess, but for combat squadrons from Cyclops and Strider, four are KII, one is MIA. The space elevator collapsed too, as you all saw. While the elevator superstructure isn't tall enough to reach Gunther Bay, miles of cable did reach, and even stretch further than the city, causing tremendous damage to the bay. We have to do something about Cypher. Now that we know he's in play. We also have knowledge of a new aircraft type, though when I say new, it's actually really old. An unused model, one of the few prototypes Gruen Industries probably smuggled into Belka. I got word the IUN is a card to play, but I've not been told what that is yet. Anyway, you're all dismissed. The mission was far more than successful. We destroyed the ISEV and all planes in the area were shot down. Furthermore, one of our helicopters managed to secure one of the pilots you guys shot down. Do you want a piece of me? How about you show me how tough you are without the guns? <laughs> Whether he likes it or not, he'll be working with us from now on. He's no three strikes, but he'll do. Three strikes? It was good, but sloppy. I'm really curious what made this guy so famous. He shot down some old nobody, a relic from the former generation, kinda like me. Who is he? Well, his name is Miyah Salaji. You may have never heard of him, but you probably heard of a student in level 13 from one of your friends in Sheepsaw. He also had some granddaughters that were helping the princess out with Gunther Bay and the Onset. Well, they were technically royalty themselves. And, you talking about him or his granddaughters? Why not both? It wouldn't hurt to assume they were killed in the blast we just caused. Mihai himself died a few years ago just from being old. <laughs> well, what else? They have no idea where we came from, but Sheiksaw Squadron did indeed show up to clear out our scouts. If Trigger survived, which sources indicate he did, I'd count on seeing him again. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. You know, I'm still waiting. I haven't forgotten. That's not exactly up to me, nor do you have much demand here. But I doubt he won't show up in due time. 